Today I'm going to Toronto Metropolitan University and I figured what's the best way to get there? Well, public transportation. We're going to take a train to a subway line and then we're going to be right there at the door of the university. Well, so much for my plan for using public transportation. Apparently the train that I was going to take required you to pay either with the local tap card called Presto or coins. And I don't have either of those things. And I certainly didn't have 13 quarters because it was $3.25 for the fare. So future Meacham would just like to take a moment to point out how stupid past Meacham was. Canada has coins in one and two dollar denominations. The coins of Canada, there are six. The coins of Canada look like this. Don't be like me. I took an Uber downtown. So I'm now walking onto the campus of Toronto Metropolitan University now. Due to the recent name change, you're still going to see quite a few signs that use the R word uh, or have an R on them, so don't get confused. This is TMU. This is Toronto Metropolitan University. It's got some new branding going on, so some things are still going to be updated, but uh, let's check out the campus. The TMU campus is really condensed, like I can walk around the entire thing in less than 30 minutes, but that's how urban campuses work. I mean, if you're gonna be downtown, you need to have a, man, people are yelling at people. But that's basically how urban campuses, God, every time I start talking, this guy starts yelling at me. <laughs> that's basically how urban campuses work, though. You gotta pack those buildings into a small footprint, which means that you're gonna see a lot of multi-story buildings on campus. It shouldn't come as a surprise that the largest, nicest building here on campus is for health sciences and health services because Canada invests a ton of money into its public health care system and its universities are a huge part of supplying professionals to run that system. Unfortunately, as an international student, it's almost impossible for you to get into a Canadian medical school, so don't count on that if that's your plan is to study medicine here. As you can see, this has been a very rainy campus tour and I'm eager to get inside and that's why I'm gonna present to you, Ryan Guest. Ryan Guest works in the International Recruitment Department of the University, and he's gonna tell you guys a little bit more about the programs that they have to offer here, how you can get admitted, and everything else you need to know. Hello, my name is Ryan Guest. I'm the Associate Director for International Recruitment at Toronto Metropolitan University, formerly known as Ryerson University. We have over 60 undergraduate programs, and about 95% of our programs have some form of experiential education. Over 146 countries are represented in our international students body. We've got great programs related to arts and contemporary studies. We have English programs. We've got criminology, uh, environmental and urban sustainability, as well as languages and intercultural relations. We've got architectural science. We're unique in the sense that we have an aerospace engineering program, biomedical engineering, chemical engineering, civil engineering, computer engineering. Something I think is really cool about this university is just the way their programs are organized. You know, like every other university, there are faculties, schools within the university that have different programs but it's the way that TMU organizes those they make them very unique instead of having like a faculty of communications there's the creative school where you will do all kinds of graphic design video game design esports broadcasting sports media like anything creative that involves communications goes in there and it's called the creative school and I think that's just a super cool way to organize it it speaks more to the students than it does the faculty and I like that a lot because ultimately the, the faculty is made up of students Similarly, there's a faculty of community service, and that's something I've never heard of before, but it includes majors like nursing, pre-kinder education, you know, social work, 
and, and maybe the skills that you need to run your own NGO. Anything that involves community service goes into there. And so instead of organizing things strictly by the classical categories, TMU has very modern majors in very modern classifications. So if those cool programs and those cool faculties sound interesting to you, then what do you need to get admitted? Let's talk to Ryan and find out more. Our minimum score ranges from you know 70 to 75, but it's very program specific. So the faculty of engineering, these programs are much more competitive. So they're going to be looking for scores that are a little bit higher between you know 80, 85 and above. IB requirements for Toronto Metropolitan University, we're looking for applicants who have completed the International Black Baccalaureate Diploma, total of 28 or higher. IB levels of five or higher may be considered for transfer credit. Now when it comes to cost, TMU is located in the downtown city and it's going to be a little bit more expensive to live here, but on the bright side the tuition is relatively affordable. We're talking about thousands of Canadian dollars a year, so if you've been comparing prices in US dollars, it's really not that bad. There are a couple of scholarship opportunities for international students, but they are extremely competitive. You can compete with everybody else for the President's Scholarship, and there's also an International Student Scholarship that is awarding $5,000 one time. It's going to be tough to get because they don't have a lot of them, but as an international student, you still have a ton of support. Ryan told me about the different kinds of support systems that the university has for international students, and I'm very confident that you're going to feel welcome here. The university is very committed to equity, diversity, and inclusion. They've got a great international student support team, orientation before the student arrives, academic support, social support, career support, both as a student and after graduation. So I think in that sense, uh, there's great opportunities for students to be become part of the community. There's great sports teams. There's great clubs. February 1st date is what we call our guaranteed consideration date. Apply before that date. If you'd like to get in touch with us at Toronto Metropolitan University, uh, feel free to visit uh, torontomu.ca. We've got a full list of contact information for all of our regional recruitment officers there. You know, feel free to contact us at any point. We're really looking forward to seeing you in Toronto at Toronto Metropolitan University. I have greatly enjoyed my time walking around here today, but I'm getting kind of tired of the rain and I need to get going. So thank you for watching and I will see you next week.